uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how to integrate the facebook login inside your angular 13 application using this dependency which is angular x social login library so i have written a complete blog post on my website so you will see if you launch this application you will see this window if you click this button you will be shown the screen where you will allow the permissions and then your photo will be shown to you facebook profile photo and facebook name so we will be building this application in angular 13 so let's start building this application for building it uh, you have to have a your own website where you can deploy this application so for this purpose i will instead use this website which is called as code sandbox this is the website that i will use here so just go to this website and sign up it's a very simple process and click on new sandbox and now select your technology which i will be using angular so now it will instantly start my angular application you will see it is transpiling the modules it is you can see now this is my address you can open also open this address inside the browser this is your angular js app here so welcome to code sandbox so now guys in order to build this i have already told you for this you need to just search for this dependency angular x dash social login so this is a package that we will be using here so it's a social login package for specifically made for angular angular applications so 22000 weekly downloads are there so for this we will be having first of all here you need to add this dependency so you will search for this angular x dash social login so this comes in simply click this and install this so it will install in in background you will see that now it has installed it now you need to open your app dot module dot ts file so in this file you need to add this library so you need to add the import statement from we will be importing from angular x dash social login so this will be angular and from this we need to first of all we need to have a social auth service config put a comma and then we need to import social auth service this is the social auth service that's it this is the first line that we need to write and the second one is let me zoom in so that you can see import this will be from again angular x social login from this you need to import uh, facebook login provider so facebook login provider that's it so now inside your provider uh, this uh, providers array guys you need to have to declare an object here so inside this object you will write the provide property this will be equal to social auth service config and here you need to put a comma and the next property is the use value this will be equal to and this contains the object here so this contains a property of auto login so auto login so this will be equal to false put a comma and the second property will be here will be providers this will be an array so inside this array guys we will be an array of objects so just put a curly brackets and here you will provide the id this will be equal to the facebook login provider that we have imported after that you need to put a dot symbol provider id that's it put a comma and after that there is a provider property here provider property so this will be equal to new facebook login provider and here guys you need to copy paste your own facebook id so you need to go to facebook developers so you need to sign up on you need to be having facebook account so here you need to click on create app and to create a new app click on business and click on next 
and uh, here you can have your display name or your company name so I will just type this click create account and now it will ask for the password of your Facebook account so I will write it so after entering the password you will get your app ID this is your app ID simply click to copy that's it and uh, now there is the option Facebook login click on setup and uh, click on web here because we are building web application and here you need to simply copy paste the address of your application in my case this is this address which is deployed here so that is why we are not using local host because this Facebook login will not be deployed on HTTP it, this, this has to be secure connection which is HTTPS that is why we need to do like this simply click save after this click on continue click next and here you need to click settings here simply click settings and one th one thing you need to do is that you need to just press this option login with the javascript sdk put this to yes here that's it and copy paste this inside allowed domains simply paste your domain that's it enter it and click save changes and now you have successfully uh, created your app now simply copy this app ID and simply you need to paste this app ID here that's it after pasting this app ID guys put a comma after this array and if any sort of error take place we have the error callback on error and this will be containing this error callback and here we can just say console log error that's it and after that guys we will be importing this uh, put a comma here like this and we will be importing this as uh, just put right here as social auth service social auth service that's it just write this and here you need to again put a comma here like this put a comma and again write social auth service uh, some error is taking place guys so if you go to the video description link i have written up all the source code here this is my this is the file that i'm writing here so what you can do is that instead of writing this you can simply copy paste it sometimes error can take place so simply paste this inside this paste it and now you can see the error will gone and simply you need to copy paste your facebook id app id simply copy this and instead your here you need to paste it that's it so now this is all simply close this and now you need to go to your app.component.html instead of this we need to write our template so inside this div we will display the heading we will display the name so we will have about me section you will see on the right hand side it is auto updating so here we will display the username so inside h3 heading in double curly brackets you will say user dot name and for the photo we will display the photo inside h5 tag and simply we will say photo of me and inside this div we will display the photo so we will have the image tag the source will be equal to user dot photo url that's it and then we will have a simple button guys which will say to login with Facebook so when we press this button this callback function will execute so now we can bind this click handler so when we click it so we will say sign in this is a function which we will execute that's it this is for now if you just refresh it you will see this button also and now inside app.component.ts5 
what you need to do is that if you just have save all simply click this and save this this website is slow guys so that is why you are seeing some unresponsiveness coming here so here we will have our constructor which will be inside this constructor we will have the private variable auth service which will be of the type for social auth service so now it will automatically import this like this at the very top you will see so you will see it has automatically added this line so after having this constructor we will declare one two variables which will be so you can see it is unresponsive so sometimes it can happen so you can see that our button is there so this website is little bit slow so we will declare two variables locked in which will be of the type boolean it's true or false value and then we will have uh, our user so just declare these two variables and now basically we will write this function which we have configured which is sign in when we press that button so here we will just say this dot auth service dot sign in there is a sign in method here you can see so this takes the facebook login provider dot provider id so just pass this provider id that's it and also when you initialize your component there is a on init function which is there so it implements so on init so just sim simply uh, implement it and now it will ask you to write this uh, ng on in it so just write this inside this we will first of all check if the user is currently logged in or not so for doing this we will say this dot auth service dot uh, auth state and there is a subscribe method out there so after this we will get our user and now we can initialize the user to this dot user is equal to user and this dot the boolean value i will change it to true user not equal to null that's it just write this and now i think the application is complete so if i test it if i click the login with facebook button just save your file simply save this click save all If you inspect here click empty catch and hard reload so so now it is installing the dependencies so just wait Now if you click this button, now you can see coding section is requesting access to your name and profile picture and email address. So you need to grant the permission. Continue. 
so after continuing it it will display your photo alongside with your name so in this way you can integrate the facebook login inside angular 13 application using this dependency which is angular x dash social login package so i have shown you step by step how to do this so just go to this code sandbox website create your angular project and you can integrate it so if you want to download all the source code step by step instruction is given in the video description so just go to this blog post please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video